Let us worship the Lord. We praise his name. Magnify the name of Jesus. Worship the Lord, church. Praise his holy name. Magnify the name of Jesus. Praise his holy name. Worship the Lord. Bless his holy name. Somebody magnify Jesus. Bless his holy name. We praise his holy name. We worship his holy name. We bless his holy name. Praise his holy name. Bless his holy name. Look in your life and worship, brethren. Has God done anything for you this week? Praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. We magnify his holy name. We praise his holy name. Bless his holy name. We worship his holy name. We magnify the name of Jesus. We lift our hands and we worship. We open our mouths and we worship. We stand on our feet and we worship. We bless his holy name. We worship his holy name. We magnify his holy name. Bless his holy name. We honor the king of kings. We honor the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. We bless the God of heaven, the one that spake and it was done. The one that commanded and it stood fast. We bless his holy name. We worship his holy name. Regin, there is nothing that I can say that can release anybody today. My words, my presence here is not more valuable than the presence of God. So you have to tap into him, deacon. If anything that I'm going to say is going to make sense, you have to tap into God. So that the words of God can resonate. We bless his holy name. Sometimes we look on the speaker preacher. And we expect something powerful. Something mighty. But we don't recognize eh, it's the words that God put in us. They are spirit and they are life preacher. So don't look at me and expect anything great. But connect to God and listen for your blessing. We praise his holy name. We magnify his holy name. We bless his holy name. I greet you all today in the high and exalted name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming king. The words of God remind us that by no other name shall men be saved. Amen. So it would be very foolish vanity to come and I greet you in my own name. Amen. You know that there was a point in my life when I didn't, I didn't like my name. When I said it, you know, it just never, it never, you know, it never panic. You know, no, you know, no life, you know, no, you can't call me today, tomorrow, any day of the week, but you're going to feel the same. You're going to feel ordinary. You're going to, you're just going to call just another name. Amen. But there is something about the name Jesus that does something different. There is something about the name Jesus that, that inspires men to, to, to do right, to, to live good, to walk into holiness. We praise his holy name. The words of God remind us that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. We bless his holy name. We magnify his holy name. And so in the name of Jesus Christ today, I greet you all. And I pray that you feel greeted in the house of God. This week was a very trying week for me. Um, those that are on the line, they heard the testimony. And I just want to give God thanks, Bridget. You know, in the, in the world that we live in, the climate that, that we're facing, things like that escalate very quickly. 
things can get very dangerous and, and, and situations can go left. You know, but God is a keeper. The word reminds us. He's a shade upon our right hand. The sun shall not smite us by day, nor the moon by night, because that God is preserving our soul. We praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. We magnify his holy name. And so I give God thanks today that we are all in his courts, all in his presence to honor him and to lift up his blessed name. The topic of our subject today says, test the knowledge and examine the evidence. We praise his name. Bless God, church. Praise his name. The reading comes to us from Genesis chapter 3. Probably the saddest story in the entire Bible. It changed all of us, preacher. By choice or by involuntary pain, groanings, sadness, death. Everything that could be negative happened at this moment in time to the entire world. We praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. We praise his holy name. But there were a series of things that led up to that. And that is the focus of our lesson today. We praise his name. Going back into chapter 2, God had finished creating the creation. And when he had made an end of it, he called out Adam. And he said to Adam from verses 15 downward, he says, And the Lord took man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest eat freely. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. We praise his name. We bless his holy name. God had set limitations. God had given a parameter that mankind was supposed to live within. For a time and for a season, when they were by themselves, they adhered to the knowledge that was given. They took the instruction as it was, and they ate off the other trees. They dressed it. They did what God commanded them to do. But there was a moment in time where the words introduced a new character to us. And it says, no. The serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord had made. Now, subtlety in and of itself, it is not an evil characteristic. But when it is used to connive and to trick and to decept, to deceive, then it becomes a tool for the adversary. And this creature, the serpent, allowed himself to be used by the devil. We praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said he shall not eat of every tree of the garden? When we look back in chapter 2, the word tells us that God took the man and brought him into the garden. 
But in chapter 3, the word tells us that the serpent said to the woman, so he went around the chain of command. He went around the teacher. He, he went around the one with the instruction. We praise his holy name. We're talking about testing the knowledge. We praise his holy name. Adam had gotten the command from God and the instruction from God what to do. His duty was to do the work and Eve as his helpmeet was supposed to help him do the work. But then this new instruction coming from somebody that was not Adam instead of going and verifying Adam is, is, is that what God said? There is something a little iffy about what the serpent is saying. Does it line up? Does it, does it connect with, with what we were given before? That's it right there, Sister Sophia. The virus, it went in. And once it went in, it took control. And it started to replicate. It started to spread. The infection is it, it, just getting wild and crazy now. We praise his holy name. And from that point, the system started to break down. The teaching started to change. The things that was expected, they started to look funny now because what they're hearing now is, is a little bit, it's close enough to work, but it's still different enough for, for there to be significant change. And so the woman said, but well on. We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. That is what God said. That's what the devil kind of insinuate. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God said, he shall not eat it, which is correct. Neither shall he touch it, which is not correct. Lest he die. We praise his holy name. We praise his holy name. We praise his holy name. The virus infect. To the point now that even herself. Is being deceived. She has now twisted the instruction. That was given to her. And now the devil find the loophole that he need. It is important for us to rehearse the words of God in our minds properly. Get the correct statement, the correct lineage, the correct meaning of what God has instructed us to do. God is not going to leave anything up to chance. He's not a chance taking God. We bless his holy name. We magnify his holy name. We worship his holy name. But everything that he does is done with a purpose. It's done with a just end. We bless his holy name. So God recognized that they were not yet ready for the knowledge that would come with eating this fruit. And he said to them, don't eat it. But then the woman gave the serpent another opportunity to speak. A lot of the times we are trapped in certain dialogues, certain situation with with persons that are not of like mind not of sound teaching and instead of shutting it down and moving on we we sit down and we we take in more of the falsehood preacher for a year and a half now or about so we've been putting out videos Lessons, songs, all these different things. But so many times we still are listen to the man don't uh, woy, woy. 
We're still taking the teaching from yes. Dunga, Egypt, yes. Church of Babylon. Yes. And we look on the YouTube and we say, boy, I can't do Georgia, I can't do Florida, Stony Point, I'm tired of them, man. We go down to, I was there preaching, I mean, I want to hear it again, I want something new, I want something different. And when the devil interjects, say, no, you can't be as wise as God. You say, well, Lord, that's so new. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 the thirst for power, the, the thirst for, for enlightenment, it pulls you in, it sucks you in. We praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. We magnify his holy name. And so the serpent said, no, sir. Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day he eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. So there is something more now. That's how he starts you know. He gets you with what you know. He tweaks it a little bit, and then he interjects something new. To pull you right in. That is deception. That is how the trap is set. You see it from afar and it looks good. It sounds good. It feels good. It has the essence of godliness to it, Brother Brown. And it pulls you in and draws you closer. And you start to get a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more relaxed until your guard is down. And then he gives you that final blow. After that, the woman, she examined the tree again. The same tree that she passed to and fro, day and night. The same tree that she had no issue with before. This time, there was a different look. There was a different appeal. There was something else about it that started to, to say, hey, no. This tree is definitely good for food. Praise his holy name. And, and being as God, being as wise as God, it doesn't sound that bad anymore. It sounds like something that, that can work. Wisdom is a good thing. The Bible says wisdom is principal thing. We praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. We magnify his holy name. But the word of God reminds us that if you're going to get wisdom, get understanding with it. We praise his holy name. A lot of the times the problem that we face in the church of God is that we don't understand God. We don't understand what he's trying to teach us. He, he don't, we, don't, we don't try to understand the processing that he's trying to put us through. And so with the Bible says that ever learning. We're full of knowledge, deacon. We, 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 we have it in a book. We can repeat books and encyclopedia words of knowledge. But the understanding that's supposed to bring us into the kingdom of God, we lack it. We praise his name. We bless his holy name. And the word says, and this is the part that hurt me. She took off the fruit thereof and did eat. And gave also unto her husband. We've already established that Adam get the thing straight from God. This was not Chinese telephone. I know here say. God himself came and told Adam, don't eat of the tree. And still. At the point where he was supposed to stand on what he knew. Stand on the instruction of God. Stand on the word of God. He failed. Not only himself. But God and entire humanity. The moment. That we are to stand up for God. Are the moments where we fall short. Why is that? The moments where we're supposed to shine the brightest for God. That is the time where our lights are burning low. The times that we are supposed to be exemplary are the times that we are being followers and not leaders. 
And instead of being the light of the world, instead of being the salt of the earth, we are then cast out because we're good for nothing. We bless his holy name. We magnify his holy name. We praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. And so the words remind us that the eyes of them both were opened. They started to recognize that there was something different now. They, they, you're out of line. They, the, the peace that was once there between you and God. Praise his holy name. The relationship that was once there between you and God. The, 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 the ease to talk. The, the, the calmness. The relax. To, to just chill with God is not there anymore. Uneasy. Fear. Ashamed. Guilt. Prayers his holy name. All these things that God had shielded them from. Protected them from. They took unto themselves even death. We bless his name. We bless his name. Death entered into the world at that point. When the man that had the instruction to do right uh, did not do right. There was still a glimmer of hope before this moment. There was still a chance that everyone did not have to bear this weight. But as soon as Adam failed God, it was at that point that there was a shift. And God needed to intervene. We praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. We magnify his holy name. And so the word goes in and it shows us the blame game that follows. Who do this Adam? Adam say a woman. Who do this woman? Woman say a serpent. And God start to line it up. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. The thing is that people feel as if just because of the devil instigated that him want to get punished. But if you put your hand to iniquity, expect judgment. If you put your hand to evil, expect the vengeance of God. We praise his holy name. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So if you sin, expect the shame and disgrace. Expect the beating. Expect the judgment of God. And so God line it back up from Satan to the woman, to the man. We praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. We magnify his holy name. We praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. But when, when he looked down into history and he saw us, we bless his holy name. The words of God remind us that he's going to put enmity between the seed of the serpent and the woman. There was a plan of redemption that was coming for you and I, uh, we bless his holy name. Uh, we bless his holy name. Uh, we magnify his holy name. Uh, because Adam sinned uh, and plunged the world into death. Uh, Jesus Christ uh, had to come uh, and redeem us back to life. And so the word of God put us in a similar situation. When we fast track into Matthew chapter 4. The word tells us that Christ was coming out of a little fasting. And he was led up into the wilderness by the spirit of God. Praise his holy name to be tempted. Jesus Christ had to go through this temptation to make the contrast between Adam and himself. Both of them received instruction. Jesus Christ knew why he was here. He knew the purpose of why he had to come and die. We bless his holy name. 
We magnify his holy name. We praise his holy name. And so when the devil try him with food, he lick him with Deuteronomy 8 tree. I said, man shall not live by bread alone. When he lick him with power, he said, you can't, you must fear God alone. We praise his holy name, Deuteronomy 6 verse 16. And when he come again, I said, you must come serve me. The man said, no, no. God alone deserves service. God alone deserves praise. And because Jesus Christ overcame, you and I are now overcomers. We praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. We magnify his holy name. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. When Christ had come, he knew the battle that he was about to fight. Because what Adam had done, had planted the seed of death in you and I. There was no way that we could have redeemed ourselves because the words remind us, because God now lash we, as soon as we start sin, it is in our hearts uh, to continue to do evil. We praise his holy name. I saw there was a point when he looked down uh, into holy the earth uh, and every oh. imagination of man uh, was God. just evil continually that he repented God that he made man. So Christ understood the mission. He understood the assignment. He knew why he had to come. And so these things that the devil tried to put before him, he recognized that he couldn't allow that to floor him. We bless his holy name. We magnify his holy name because the words remind us that when he was God, he thought it not robbery to be equal to God, but make himself of no reputation. Praise his holy name, but he humbled himself even to the devil of the cross. We bless his holy name. He humbled himself even to the death of the cross. So he came and he gave his life for you and for me. Jesus, that sweet Nazarene, praise his holy name to correct the sins that was made right here. To undo the things that was done right here. To give you and I a fighting chance uh, to be reconciled with God. We bless his holy name. We magnify his holy name. Hallelujah. Examine the evidence. When you come to accept Christ. Just as oh, after sin, there was a shift in Adam and Eve. When you accept Christ, there must be a realignment with God. When you sin and shift, Sister Jolene, you know it, you feel it. You know that there is something wrong. There is a, there is a discard, there, there is not peace within. We praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. But when you get God in your soul, you must get right with God. And you must come and do it. No, we bless his holy name. Not tomorrow. Praise his holy name. Because it's not promised to no man. We bless his holy name. But if you hear my voice, harden not your heart. We bless his holy name. We praise his holy name. Magnify his holy name. Right now is the time to get realigned with God. You're running down a path that don't make no sense. You're giving up yourself for things that don't make no sense. You're giving your body to be burned for things that don't make no sense. We bless his holy name, but Jesus Christ makes all the sense in the world. We bless his holy name. We praise his holy name. We praise his holy name. Stop trying everything else and come to Christ now. Sin brings about a void. It brings about an emptiness. And with that void, men try drugs, sex, 
war. All these different things. People give up themselves to be abused, destroyed. Prius is all in him. Prius is all in him. Prius is all in him. We bless his holy name. You give up protection from God. You give up coverage from God to run down the glitters of the world. We praise his holy name. You have to sell yourself to the devil when Jesus Christ is trying to buy your back. What kind of deal are you making? We bless his holy name. We magnify his holy name. We praise his holy name. We magnify his holy name. What kind of deal are you making? Christ paid it all for you. And you still want to give more to the wicked. Do we understand the severity of what he did for us? Do we know how painful that week was for him? Between whipping, piercings. We have to carry it in a preacher. With the whole line back wheel up. Praise his holy name. Father, let this cup pass from me. If it's possible, God, is, is there any other way but? He said, not by my will, but by thy will. We praise his holy name. We praise his holy name. Even at that moment, he still humbled himself for you and I. We praise his holy name. So why can't you just give God your all today? We praise his holy name. Why when you come in the house of the Lord, your mouth sealed? We praise his holy name. Why when it's time to worship, worship is hard. Praise his holy name. We praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. Magnify the name of Jesus. The purpose of Christ is to bring life where there is death. Not just life, but eternal life. One man recognized that for me to live, but, to, but for Christ, you gain everything. You gain everything. Whatever it is that you're chasing down, Whatever everything is that you're trying to achieve out there is not going to work. It's not going to make sense. But in here, in here, all things are possible. We praise his holy name. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all things will be added unto you. God bless you in Jesus' name.